Welcome to the Scoreboard, the show that brings you the latest in Halifax sports news. I'm Ben Klein. And I'm Reese Cooper. And today, we're with the ginger himself, the first baseman, Briar Campbell. Welcome, up, Briar. Guys. What's up, Briar? We're also bringing you today the reaction scores and highlights of last week. And spring sports starting today. It means baseball, softball. Big stuff. Grind and, starts now. Yeah. What track. is it? Baseball, track. Uh, softball. That's pretty much Yeah, softball. Is that it, really? Yeah, it's three. only three sports. Wow. Wow. I thought there were shortest more. season. Interesting. Well, it's not the shortest. Not the shortest, uh, it goes but, like, into the shortest summer. teams. Okay. So shortest well. teams. My bad. Shortest teams. Yeah. All right, let's move to our first segment, the weekly recap. Uh, for the weekly recap, uh, we'll start off with swimming. They just had districts over the weekend. The relay team got seventh place, which was Kira Rowe, Maya Tobias, London Snyder, and Tatum Rothermel. Tatum also got sixth in the 200 uh, and fifth in the 100-yard breaststroke. And with wrestling over the weekend, Peter Rank got seventh place at regionals. Wow. Good job, Peter. <laughs> Numbers up. Well done, Peter. Well done, Peter. So let's move into our main segment, our interview with Briar. First off, uh, we asked your boss, but when are you actually going to get a haircut? That know, stuff man. is way too long. He told it's me that easy. he was bringing the Clippers in one day. It was and he's a couple just gonna, weeks ago, and he's gonna top it's still it all hideous. Off. I cut your hair in Discovery oh. the other week, but he was not too happy. <laughs> that was like last year, man. No, there was one the other week that I did it with the scissors in Discovery. I, over I there. must not saw it. I, I don't know. Hopefully soon. I mean, honestly, I think you would look pretty fresh with a buzz cut. I'm hoping I'm not soon. buzzing my So, uh, hair. can we put that picture in the, from no, homecoming? No, there's no picture. Oh, there's a picture. <laughs> there's no picture. There is a picture. Oh, there is a picture. On the screen. It will be on the screen. Well, there will be a picture on the screen. So um, so what's your vision for the baseball team this year? It's the first day of sports or the sports season. So how you I think it's going? I think this year is going to be a pretty good year. We have a lot of numbers, more than actually what our coach really wanted. He wanted to cut some kids, but we have to think about it. We have what six seniors this year, I think. And if we we're gone next year, if there's not enough freshmen, we're not going to have a lot of people to carry the and help the team again. So I think this year. We have numbers. If someone doesn't perform, they're gonna someone's gonna replace them. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be a fun year for us. That's good. Best man on the field at all times. Yep. So you said people are getting cut. Do you know how many numbers you have? Is there a lot of freshmen playing? Twenty seven so far and they're not making cuts now. We were going to, but Brangle thought about it in the long run that we're all gone next year and what if there isn't a lot of freshmen, so we're gonna need those kids to come out next year and yeah. Makes sense. So yeah, uh you guys making a playoff run? How far are you going? I think this year we'll we'll definitely get into districts. The league um is definitely not up to our level. I feel like I feel like we could definitely get a bunch of wins havoc. up there. Yeah, yeah definitely it, possibility think, for a league championship. I think the yeah. league championship we can make happen. Districts is going to be a, a challenge. Yeah, I there's, think there's some with, tough teams in the district. With the lone Catholic in our okay. district, so who else? Yeah, is fa- we have Fairfield too this and year. And Fairfield, they're a pretty good team. Yeah. yeah. So you guys uh, made the state championship twice in a yeah. row now, last two years. Are you going to see a three-peat this year? I think we could. We, we're we a really good group of guys together. We're, we've are we been playing since when, like, ponies maybe. So yeah. I feel I mean, like... Most of us, our senior class has pretty much all been together since, yeah. like, long time. All of Five us years have, old, yeah. So. And we're a tight-knit of kids. I yeah, feel we, like we, we can, play together pretty well when we're all... I feel like we got together. the chemistry to make it happen again. Definitely. Yeah, chemistry is a really big thing. And I noticed it a lot like with that. baseball. Compared to some of the other sports I've played, I just noticed that there's so much more chemistry on yeah, our baseball I think all team. The guys I think that are, really helps yeah. us go farther into the season, helps yeah. us put up with each other for like longer. Like all the definitely. Pizza Delight runs after, yeah, like all just hanging out with each other. Pizza Delight after every single game. Every single win. Every single win. So it gets expensive. Just like three Bs back in the day. Yep. Sitting on the Either that or go to Ender's Ice right after. Waiting for the people to honk their horns. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you're a, we're all seniors this year, but uh, how do you plan on stepping into a leadership role on the team this year? Like, do you have any – what do you? What are your plans for that? I feel like all of us as seniors are all pretty good leaders on the team. We all, are, like, help the younger kids whenever it comes time to them not knowing what to do or them having trouble with something with, like, Judah, Trent, Kelton, Gus, and me and you. So I feel like – we all have a big role. I feel like I don't have to step into anything. I feel like we've all been leaders since even sophomore year we were. Mm-hmm. Is there like a designated captain of the team or is it just like? Uh, know? Currently there hasn't been because all of our coaches believe that like if you have a designated captain, captain the team's going to like 
fall apart because they're going to think that's the only guy that yeah. makes the rules. So Sprangle normally like lets all the seniors and even last year, like the pregame with the umps and all that, he let some sophomores, even some juniors come out and do the meeting with them. So, yeah. Do we have any uh, breakout stars who are coming to the picture this year who maybe we haven't seen last year or are going to get a bigger shot this year? I think Brandon Shell and Dayton Bittner are definitely going to step up. I think they could potentially be starters for us because when Judah or Trent pitches, we need those middle infield positions, and they're going to probably have to fill the spots. We saw a good bit of Brandon last year. He did very well for being a freshman, and Dayton did very well for whenever he played to be a freshman. And I feel like we're going to see a lot more of them this year. And I feel like some of our freshmen are stepping up and trying to make sure that they're going to get, see if they can get playing time also, like Will Steinhauer, who's been putting the work in. And I feel like all of our, I think everybody in the team has been putting a lot of work in to make sure that they're getting better each day. Those 6 a.m. lifts have been, yeah, that, those, we're done with those yeah, now. Yeah, the season finally, starts. finally done with the 6 a.m. lifts. <laughs> Thank Lord. Those were terrible. So uh, what do you think the pitching rotation is going to be this year? I think, Jude is definitely going to be our ace. He's going to start day one. And definitely. I feel like me and Trent are definitely going to split game two. And then Kelton will relieve Judah. And then Gus will just fill in wherever. I feel like some games, like out of league games, Dayton or Brandon might pitch to get them innings because once all the seniors are gone, they're the only two like starters. Yeah. And I feel like Carter can get some innings this year. He's he's proved that he's been a good pitcher before. So, Do you think you guys are going to struggle at all now that Eli's gone? I feel like definitely that second game is not going to be as easy. Like whenever you have two aces that just go back to back games every time, like the second game with me and Trent's not going to be as easy as it was when we had Judah pitching the second game. Yeah. So like that second game, we're definitely going to have to hit better. We're going to have to work harder on the field. But like past that, I feel like it, we should still do just as good as last year, if not better. Yeah. I feel like we have a better hitting team this year. I feel like the season can go just the same as last year if we yeah. put our minds to it. So uh, we're going to move on to the final segment here. Some uh, NBA news from the recent games. Uh, last night, Or was that last night, the Luka and Booker Yeah, it was, like, beef. Last night. It was yeah. like in the afternoon whenever they started it. New rivalry brewing. Yeah. Luka Doncic, Devin Booker. Luka's definitely better. Yeah, I give I give it to Luka any day. Luka's I don't. Better. I think D-Book can't play to the level that Duke, Luka can. I don't know. I think D-Book is definitely a baller. He's definitely a baller, but never Luka's been, been in the D-book, league for lie. like five years now and Booker's been in the league for like eight, and Luke has already done more than Booker has. Uh, I feel like Lucas helped his team do more. Booker just kind of, I feel like he cries a lot. I don't know. He I complains like, I like a Devin lot. Booker. I like watching him play. He's, a, he's an electric player. I, feel like I mean, nothing against Luca. I like Luca too. But they're both definitely like top of their time right definitely. now. Like they're doing good. I feel it, like overall, though, teams, the Suns are having it. I mean, yeah. KD. The Suns won the game because Luca missed a wide open layup. I mean, poor Luca. Unfortunate. Was unfortunate, and I think in the future, Suns and Mavericks game is going to be great to watch. You guys got to make sure that you watch that. If it's it's, on TV. That. it's a very possible game. playoff game might happen. Yeah, that's a playoff series. If that, yeah, if that's they go gonna into a seven game series, quick. it's going to be scrappy. Yeah. it's going to be fun to watch. Luke and are Booker the Mavs in the West? Be, Mavs are in the West. Both right? both yeah. teams are in the West. So that'll be a good yeah. playoff. Playoff. I think I think game. they're actually four and five right now. They were at least, so that'll be a good. It'll be a good matchup to yeah. watch. Uh, if if I if like if that happens, I'm rooting for the Suns. I want Chris Paul to win a ring. Luca still got time. Ooh, I don't think Chris Paul got too much time left. And yeah, I'd love Chris to see Paul. Him. I'd love to see him win a championship. Well, currently the Mavs are in the play, and so that might not be a play playoff game happening at all. Well, you never know. Let's talk about John Morant. He's a what bad boy. Bad With the boy. Glock. <laughs> Showing off his pulling it his, out on the Instagram live. His gun on the Instagram live. Uh, yeah, he's his under accusations investigation. Of him beating up some seventeen-year-olds in a pickup game, holding them at gunpoint. It's yeah. just it's sad to see yeah. someone as talented and athletic as John ja Morant. I mean, it was a to beast. just throw it away like yeah. that because now yeah. he has to sit out for what? Is it two games? He's at they're least not two, games. two games. They're he's not like the come NBA back. launched a full. He's also on my fantasy basketball team, which Ooh, is like, that's unfortunate. Well, well I drafted like I drafted Miles Bridges, who I didn't know was in jail at the time. <laughs> I drafted him, and uh, I also had Melo, and he's out with a. But also, your, ankles, your so. team is like what? Nineteen Fort, and one. I think. Yeah, nineteen and one. That's, I think that's you already, not the point. The point is John Morant you already, you already let me down for the playoffs coming up soon. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, also, yeah, I love John Morant. I think he's 
you know, I said in last episode, Russell Westbrook's my favorite player of all time. John Morant is literally just like Russell Westbrook, except he has a jump shot, which is even better. So I feel like I don't know. Prime Russ definitely shot better than Jaw did. Jaw, I feel like, has the more hops though. Nah, Jaw. Ja, ja Prime Russ never there. really had a jump shot. He can knock down some couple, a couple clutch threes, but you but, can never call him a shooter. But Jaw can get up there, man. Like, yeah, Jaw's and your crazy. head almost touches like the top of the backboard. That's wild. Jumping yeah. over people left and right. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's inevitable to happen. He's probably gonna get injured one of these days yeah. doing that crazy stuff that he does. But you know, make it fun while it lasts. It's fun while it's fun while it lasts. Yeah. Well, baseball classic starting up. I think that's next week. Yeah, it's, it starts, starts next Monday. I Vlad's think. now out of it. I just yeah, saw Vlad yesterday he's the, out with the, the knee. Something with his ACL, I, I think. Yeah. The, yeah, the knee. Something a just ton of, in his knee. A ton of them are out of it now. Yeah. A ton of guys are. I think Team USA has got it in the bag now, now that they lost Vladdy. Because All they got is Juan Soto now. I, I feel like the Dominican still has a good chance. They still no have Soto. They still have Machado. I think Machado's playing mm. for him. They got that chemistry, too. Yeah, they do. Machado. I feel like. Team USA has got it. Mike Trout's gonna carry. Gonna or run. I don't know, man. Japan, they might bring it to us, bro. Yeah, you never know. You Darvish and Shohei, yeah. how, how are they not gonna lose? I mean, they could score less points than I mean, the team that they yeah, play. Yeah, typically that's how you that's how you win. You score I, more I points don't know, than bro. the team I, that you beat. I feel like they can shut out <laughs> Shohei and you Darvish together will shut out like the bottom teams they, at they least, are, like Venezuela really and all them. They're gonna get knocked out right away. Hey, you never know. Or no, some yeah, people some have bad games. All they have is the cheater and Jose, so Altuve. The cheater the and che- Jose? Cheater. The cheater, Jose Altuve. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's talk about the Nets. We got a Nets fan in the room, Briar Campbell. I, I mean, don't, yeah, they, I don't think you've shut up about the Nets since you started liking them like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> after after the All Star break, man, they didn't come off a too good. Uh, they were lost like four or five in a row at least. Crazy. That's because they traded their whole team they, away. Then yeah. they beat the Celtics first time in like. I think two years almost. They the Celtics swept them in the uh, playoffs last year. They got destroyed, but McCall Bridges and Claxton and yeah, they just they went from three superstars on their team to, to rebuild none. mode. The best player they got so far is McCall Bridges. And he's falling. He he's, is. He's doing yeah, good. Man only had two thirty point games with the Suns and has four with the Nets already. Man, well, yeah, he's his own player now. He doesn't have to he, have Chris Paul and yeah. Devin Booker on the team. He doesn't have to chip he's, it out to Booker. He's every that guy time. for the Nets. And yesterday, I think he went like, I want to say 12 for 14 or something like that from the field. That's crazy. Man didn't miss. You know, you got Claxton blocking anything Greatest that comes into the paint. Greatest player in the world. Joel Embiid looks like a little kid when he plays against him. Man had three drives against him and got blocked twice. Yeah. I mean, he's just, he's stepping up into a, into a role that he, he needs to be in. And, you know, a couple of years ago. When he had them dreads, he was just... You know, he wasn't doing it, like man. Like a 60 just, overall in um, yeah. 2K. <laughs> now he's now like he's an 85, probably something 86. Than that, yeah. All right, before we get into our outro, let's plug on our Instagram, at HFX the scoreboard, same as our YouTube handle. If you guys got any pictures or videos of Halifax Sports, be sure to send us a DM. Throw, them, throw in some uh, ideas of who to interview next, too. You can always use some we, ideas. We can use some suggestions. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning into the scoreboard. We're here once a week keeping you up to date on everything happening in Halifax sports and beyond. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Briar. And thank you to our production team. And thank, thank you, you, viewers. We'll see you next week. Yep. Back, 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 back.